Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. Try to do one interesting video a week for you guys that follow me. Um, this is going to be on safety. I never even thought about this, but this is a finished basement in Colorado with a customer. Came out complaining about, hey, my GFI is tripping. And um, it, it, for my SEO guy, um, it's going to be almost Christmas 2019 for the date of the video, but it's going to be on sump pumps, uh, GFI tripping. It's a brand new home. And so what happened was that this check valve, this 5 16th screwdriver was off. The nut wasn't tightened. And the pressure pushed the pipe off. And look at all this water spray. So it sprayed against the outlet, came down. Of course, what does it do? The water trips to GFI. Couldn't figure out what was going on. I went ahead and opened up this. Okay, this is a sump for some of you people who watch me. I bet you got deeper vaults than this in Florida and Tennessee. Um, Oh, let me see if I can get this one second. So these pop off. Okay, so let's assume somebody changes something and your tech leaves and he decides not to put this back on. Sorry, I had it off. I should have just left it off. There we go. So I'm going to show you how deep this thing goes. This basement's already, you know, nine foot ceiling. So this goes down about eight foot. And if a kid fall, fell in there and the water, just so you know, was up past that large pipe to the right, right here. And their basement was going to eventually flood because it would just keep pushing water up. And when I finally got this thing to kick on, it's already drained four times. There is debris in there that you want to get out, and that's pretty difficult unless you get a 10-foot stick of conduit and maybe weld on a screw and screw into that wood and pull it out. But if that, if, let's say that was left open and the kid was playing hide-and-seek down here, pops that open, falls in head first, boy, someone would be dead in a minute. Even myself could fall in there. Um, but yeah, your kids or cats or dogs... Um, it was good that they built a bench around this, but I never thought about it, that if that filled up with water or even someone just getting stuck, make sure you put a lock on this. Kids got motor skills, even to unlock something, be very careful. But yeah, I never thought about that, but there isn't really no code on, you know, someone drowning in something like that, right? So anyways, guys, yeah, we went ahead and popped that in. It drained it five times. We're good to go, and we'll uh, secure that. And uh, yeah, that was it. They just thought it was a GFI. So did I when I got here, but I realized it kept tripping. Um, anyways, thanks for joining us, guys. Have a great week.